Today, we're gonna to show you how to use the amazing new landscape mixer that uses artificial intelligence inside Photoshop to do compositing. It's gonna be amazing. So we're starting off with our sample image here. You guys can download this on flurn.com, just follow the link down below and the PSD file we're making now. So check this out. All you have to do, this is brand new with Photoshop 2022, go to filter down to your neural filters. This is Adobe's word for artificial intelligence, their neural engine. There we go. And we're gonna click on this landscape mixer. So let's go ahead and turn that on. And then up here at the top, <laughs> uh, first time I used this, I was like, are you kidding me? But like literally you just click on the landscape that you want and then check this out here on the left. Once that bar uh, goes, it doesn't even take that long to do. Uh, I say that now, but it's, it's taking longer. Boom, look at that. Like what, are you kidding? Um, are you like, really? <laughs> it just spits that out and you can just click on all these different landscapes and get basically a representation of that landscape. This is an amazing technology, totally blowing my mind, using artificial intelligence to completely relight and retexturize these scenes. So is it perfect? No, like I could use a little bit more resolution and I would love a little more details, but like it's gonna happen. Like in time, this is gonna get like much, much better. I'm just thinking about like all the fun composites I can make, like taking, okay, I wanna do a winter scene, but all I got these pictures of these deserts, convert them all to winter scenes and then create an amazing landscape. Really cool stuff. Now, in this case, what it did here uh, is it, it did this to my subject, right? Made her into like a weird penguin. Now I do have an option right down here that says preserve subject. So let's go ahead and turn that on. It's gonna look for my subject and basically try to like leave them out of it. Um, and here you can see, yeah, it did an okay job. Um, for some reason, it grabs this area of the background too. It thinks that, that it should preserve that. Um, so, you know, not, not the best here. It does have an option to harmonize the subject. Like if you per prefer to preserve it and harmonize it, it'll try to like recolor the subject to match the background. Um, and this harmonize is part of this new harmonization filter here in neural filters, which uh, in my opinion, just has a little bit of ways to go. You can see it did an okay job, but it's really like not the best. We can do it much better manually. So let's just uncheck those. We can't do this uh, landscape better manually though. This is insane what this does. So what we're gonna do, we're just manually cut her out and then pop, put her back on here. You guys can see it's, it's really not that hard to do. Um, so let's go ahead and hit okay. And boom, now I had it output this onto a new layer. So we still have our original layer. Now here on our new layer, I'm just gonna take our, uh, we're gonna just grab our spot healing brush tool and I'm just gonna kind of heal this out, which is gonna fill it with an, like some background detail. Um, again, we don't have like super duper, like let's look at our original image. Look at all this like really nice detail and structure and stuff like that in the original. Here in the uh, ice version of it, it's just a little bit crunchy. I wish there was a lot more detail here, but again, I have no doubt that it's going to be added in time. All right, so let's go ahead and just continue to remove this remnants of what was the subject. And we can see the landscape mixer, it's called the landscape mixer because it works really well on landscapes uh, and not that great on people to be honest, but that's okay because we can do that ourselves. Really easy to do, check this out. So I'm gonna click on my background layer. Now we're gonna use another brand new tool in Photoshop called the object selection tool. Well, it's not new, but they just made it way better. So let's go up here to my object selection tool. Okay, now with this, like, I'm just gonna hover over my subject and like, what? It finds the subject and you just click there and bam, now my subject is selected. Kind of amazing, right? So let's go ahead and just duplicate our background layer and I'm gonna just pop that as a layer mask. So I'll click on the layer mask. I'm gonna bring that above that other landscape and now we have our subject there, right? Like really cool. Now here's a little trick when you're trying to blend things together, like just take some of the original shadow from the original photograph. So I'm gonna just take my brush tool on the layer mask and just paint back some of this, um, some of the ground from the original image, right? This is a way easier technique to just get some of the, uh, there we go. Go ahead and make my brush a little bit stronger. Just get back like this shadow detail and stuff like that from the original image. And then I'm just gonna color match these two. All right, so that's looking pretty dang good. All right, so <laughs> we started off here, mountain winter winterized it, and then I cut my subject back out here. So now all I have to do is color match this subject with that background. I can do that with a levels adjustment layer. Let's go ahead and grab our adjustment layers. We're gonna go to levels, okay? 
Now, I wanna click on this little option right here that's gonna create a clipping mask that's gonna make sure it's only visible where my subject is visible, right? Because right now, if I do this, if I just start messing with my levels, it's gonna affect everything, okay? If I clip that, which is this little button right over here, then you can see it only affects my subject. Super important. Okay, so I need to basically match my subject to my background a little bit better. So what I wanna do, I'm just gonna kinda of like look at the floor, right? That's gonna be my starting point. So I need to make it more blue and it needs to be a little bit brighter, right? So the brighter, if you need to make your brights brighter, that's right over here, that's this slider. If you wanna make your brights darker, that's this slider over here, okay? Levels, this is your black point, this is make your darks darker, and this is your darks lighter. Okay, you just have these four. One, two, three, four. Hey, there's five. I lied. One, two, three, four, five. You have these slot, five little points and you can kind of play around with them. The real benefit comes when you start to go into your different color channels. Check this out. So I'm gonna go to my, uh, where it says RGB. I'm gonna click on that and now I have red, green, and blue and I can do these independently. So let's go ahead and start with our blue channel and I'm gonna take this point and just drag that from the right to the left. So it's gonna put more blues in my highlights and it's gonna make those a little bit lighter. Let's go ahead and put that right about there. I don't know where it's gonna go because we gotta do the red and the green too. So let's go over to the red channel, click and drag that over and now our green channel, we're gonna click and drag that over too, okay? And now comes the fine tuning. You know, I'm just like going through these different channels. Looks like, okay, maybe a little bit less red. All right, that's already looking better. And then we just grab our blue and say, oh, okay, maybe a little bit more blue. That's looking pretty good. Maybe we need a tiny bit more green. There we go to get everything to blend together. Um, <laughs> and there we go. It's like pretty good already. Like pretty, pretty not so bad. Um, we can take our dark levels and adjust those if we want to as well. Let's go to our blue channel. I'm just gonna put some blues. You can see it right there in the head of my subject. Just put some blues in those darks. Okay, and then we'll just grab the same thing with greens, put a little bit of green, and the reds. There we go, we don't really need any reds. We need a little bit more blue. There we go, and then come in with this green to kind of color match it. Boom, and there we go. Look how much better that's color matched. And then here you can go ahead and mask this in if you want to, um, or sometimes what I do is I'll just grab my, um, there we go, I'll just grab my healing brush tool and I'll just heal from like right over here and kind of like fix this in. Again, we have a difference in texture, uh, like there's so much detail right here where my subject's feet are and not a lot of detail right here. And the only reason is because of the neural filter, it just doesn't spit out a ton of detail, right? Um, but you can see it looks, she looks like she's standing on a piece of ice. Um, so you can come in here and just do a, uh, like a spot healing brush to kind of make them blend together a little bit more. There we go, just around the edge and kind of just make this a little bit spotty. Boop, beep, beep. Perfect, and if you want to, you can just grab your clone stamp tool and I can just clone stamp this over here. And again, I'm doing this at like a relatively low opacity. I just want them to blend together because like this shadow that's under my subject's foot right here I don't wanna to try to recreate that shadow from scratch. It's way harder than it seems. It's much easier to kind of just like blend these two after the fact and uh, kind of cover your tracks a little bit as were. Boom, there we go. And if we had the same uh, amount of detail in the foreground and the background, you wouldn't see the weird uh, detail shift that, that we do now. But again, this neural filter will get updated. We're gonna get more detail in it and this sort of thing is just gonna get easier and easier to do. Look at that, what, are you kidding me? The, like, the idea of doing this, even like a month ago, was like, get out of town. You're, there's no way you're gonna be able to get that done. Um, <laughs> turn that off and on, let's hit F for full screen, because I'm, I'm still blown away, all right? Here's our before and our after, boom, winter wonderland. Thanks to this new tool, I think it's amazing. What do you guys think? These new artificial intelligence tools within Photoshop? Is it the rise of the robot? Should we all be afraid? Are you excited about the artificial intelligence? Let me know in a comment down below. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys want to get more free Photoshop tutorials, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to click the bell icon so you get notified. And then if you enjoyed this tutorial, just give us a big thumbs up. It really helps out with that YouTube algorithm. Thanks again. I'll learn you later. Bye everyone.